Hi, my name is Jess Meldrum from Keymetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, I'm going to be demonstrating how to build a rolling 12 month web report. From the time elements, I'm going to expose the 12 months that I want to show on the report. I'm now going to control click each of these months. Now that I've got them all selected, I'm going to drag them into the columns. Now that I've got them all in the columns, I'm going to control click them and drag them into the parameters. I'm then going to edit the parameter properties and change the initial choice to current month. By changing the initial choice to current month, this means that the first month that's going to be shown is always going to be current month and then the subsequent 11 months that follow. Now that I've run the report, I also have the option to change the initial choice. Similar to the next 12 months, we could also do the last 12 months. Let's edit the report. Instead of dragging in the last 12 months, I'm just going to drag in the last 6 months. From here, I'm going to drag the final month into the parameters. I'm then going to change the parameter options and change the initial choice to previous month. This is going to mean that it's always going to go back six months from the previous month. Now I'm going to control click the remaining months and drop them on top of the time parameter. This will connect the other remaining months to previous month. Let's run the report. As you can see, this now shows the last six months. We can also control the final month using the time parameter. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you'd like to know more details or get further assistance, please reach out. Thanks and bye for now.